My name is Anthony Babasili. I'm the holder of the GDF Suez Chair in Energy Economics and Energy Risk Management. I would like to thank GDF Suez for their concrete support. Uh, that includes Ms. Uh, Boucher as well as Mr. Uh, Desclet, as well as the academics from the Université Catholique de Louvain. Um, that includes Van Samblandel, uh, Mr. Daspermon, and Professor Yves Smirs. And finally, the uh, Fondation Louvain for making this cooperation happen. I was born in the United States, in Michigan. I moved to Greece when I was two years old, studied uh, undergraduate in electrical engineering at the Technical University of Athens. I took an interest in renewable energy sources, and I followed that up with studies in energy markets at the Department of Industrial Engineering and Operations Research at the University of California at Berkeley. And I also did my postdoc there and finally decided to return to Europe after this very exciting opportunity showed up uh, with the GDF Suez chair. Um, the appealing factors about the GDF Suez chair and the reason I decided to come to Belgium were first of all being part of an excellent research institute which is the Center for Operations Research uh, and Econometrics with renowned scientists from optimization, economics, statistics, a very stimulating interdisciplinary environment, then also the concrete support of an international company like GDF Suez that uh, gives, apart from its uh, concrete funding support, it also provides uh, amazing resources in terms of uh, data, um, providing interesting problems, providing us with connections in the um, policy and uh, industry world, and finally the um, high quality of the Université Catholique de Louvain and, of course, a very welcoming country, which is Belgium. Uh, the goal is to develop an internationally competitive research program in the analysis of energy markets and then uh, operation of energy systems. So, in particular, we're looking at studying the regulation of the energy sector and the management and analysis of energy risk. Now, the appealing uh, fact about the chair is that it meets at uh, the intersection of three very important domains. That is, um, on the one hand, the very rapid evolution of computing software, wh which can now solve questions that 10 years ago we could not even approach. The other um, domain of evolution is in computational hardware, and in particular parallel computing, which also enhances our ability to uh, solve large problems. And finally is the rapid evolution of energy policy, in particular very aggressive uh, uh, renewable integration policies in Europe. And these policies create uh, uh, questions that we can now address using um, the optimization software and the comp computing hardware, as well as the modeling capabilities that we have at core. Now, um, this, uh, this goal is actually supported by the international collaborations that uh, we're establishing at the GDF Suez chair, in particular creating bridges with uh, projects that had uh, initiated in the United States, including at my uh, former uh, group at the University of California at Berkeley, as well as a collaboration with the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, which hosts the third largest supercomputer in the world and to which we have access for running very large scale uh, studies. The goals in terms of teaching are to cover a, a gap of expertise that exists in Belgium as far as energy policy and modeling is concerned and it's a gap that needs to be filled because companies uh, have real needs and, uh, and a need for engineers with that kind of knowledge and uh, also to make open uh, access uh, material both slides as well as uh, videos. Uh, the courses that I am teaching are two, it's operations research and quantitative energy economics. They're both taught in English inevitably because of my poor French for the moment. And they're both master's courses. Uh, the profile of the students is uh, quite interdisciplinary. Many of them are, are applied math students, but we also have uh, students from uh, other departments as well. I have to say I'm very um, um, pleased about the um, experience I've had so far with students. My goal has been to make the courses practical while at the same time have a substantial theoretical background and that has led to good results. So the knowledge the students have acquired has been used in master's thesis on improving uh, software of other companies. So they take the knowledge that they pick up from the courses 
and bring it into the companies. And that's a very exciting interaction to see. At the same time, I have to admit they're very polite, very friendly. Um, it's, it's been quite a pleasure teaching to a Belgian uh, group, as well as a more international group, since we do bring some students in from Erasmus. Absolutely. Uh, like in uh, some engineering schools, it's also the case in ours that they're not the uh, majority, but I have to confess that uh, some of the best students are in fact girls. Mm -hmm.